I mean, I can't fuck with you no more because I, 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 you continue to fuck with her. Cool. But don't come back over here. And then after we got back cool, like, oh, Nick, can I come back now? No! Stay your ass where you was at. <laughs> we was talking about that this morning. Because <laughs> some of the people that support me, you know, switched up on her. And it's just like, she's like, tell your people to stay where they at. You tell them the same. Tell your people to stay where they at. Girl! <laughs> That's what I would have did. Looked around like, y'all still together? And I ain't with my bitch. No, I'm about to go back to my bed. Girl. I mean, that's a step, okay? Well, easy. Let me, let me, I'll let you real fast. Don't, don't, don't fuck this up anymore. Stop cussing. Don't mess this up again. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host. I I'm back with another reaction video. Now, first of all, I'm closer. I think I like this. I really wanted y'all to see the wall. I'm, I'm going to keep changing this around. Um, you know, as much as I can to where I get to a comfortable space where this shit is just beautiful. You know what I'm saying? This, this is my studio. I told y'all this area going to be my studio. So that's what it is. All right. Um, so... Natalie and Easy hold the line. I say hold the line. Right. Natalie and Easy um, made a new video. You know what I'm saying? A couple days ago, y'all. I'm sorry. Um, for some reason, after the quarantine, uh, Atlanta opened, right? So I decided, yeah, you know, I just made my own that I'm a, um, I'm gonna go out and go party. I wanna shake the room. Yeah, I shake. I'm gonna shake my ass right back into quarantine. I ain't got time to play. Nah. Quarantine did a good deed for me. You get what I'm saying? Um, Help me with like uh, discipline. And, you ain't gotta spend all your money. And hell, you can party in the crib. That, 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 that quarantine, that quarantine taught me. You know, should have taught me to get my head on because God knows. I know I'm still cute or whatever, but damn. Um, but anyway, I gotta get my shit together. You know what I'm saying? So, shit. What's going on with you? We have the mo. Y'all, meet my. Say, say, say what's up, Nick. Say what's pop. <laughs> what's going on? What's going on? Shout out your Instagram and shit. I'm going to put this in my video. This is my people. Oh, say no more. Instagram, right? Underscore, I'm underscore B on IG. Follow me now. Okay. Oh, shit. My bad. The our timing is. Terrible. Y'all, me and her just got terrible timing. She she real dope. Y'all gonna meet her. Y'all gonna meet her soon. But anyway, so, um, stay on track. Well, Easy and, and Natalie, apparently Natalie had something to say to Easy or whatever. So, we're gonna see what's going on, you know what I'm saying? And that's really about it. Let's do that. Let's do that. I'm no hat poppy today, you know what I'm saying? So, y'all know uh my hairline can sometimes be like bald and i found out it was because of stress so i'm working on a not stressing about shit at all i don't care if it ain't making me no money it's not gonna stress me and if it ain't taking no money away or my family it ain't i don't care it was, so i gotta grow this headline back but um yeah, it's looking a little better. Or do I want to throw on a hat? I don't know what I want to do. Oh. Y'all know army fatigue poppy be popping out. I'm good with that. So, <laughs> all right. We're going to watch Easy and Natalie. See what they talking about. You heard. Make sure I'm in the, in the frame. Video. Like it. Are you still in love with me? Just kind of want to, you know, know what you feel. Um. I don't, I don't really know like where things are gonna go. Um, you don't just fall out of love. I miss y'all. I miss y'all so freaking much. Like y'all don't even understand. Like y'all know. Y'all, y'all do understand. I miss y'all. I can find. I know y'all miss me too. It was Natalie. I miss you. They posted in a <laughs> minute. Like, bro. Me and Natalie, woo, I did not, if I could literally go back into time. I hate years, when it's 
four years. So I was oh, wrong. I would not have expected yeah. all of this. I wouldn't have expected she would be my best friend. I wouldn't have expected for me to fall in love with her. I wouldn't expect for her to fall in love with me as well because she's straight. Man, there's so many things that I just have, I wouldn't have expected. And I wouldn't have expected if we were together, things would happen the way they're happening now. Right. And uh, it's just, you know, it's a lot. Yeah. Um, I kind of wanted to just talk to you guys because I don't really know what's going to happen. I didn't expect to have as much support as I thought I would um, once the situation happened. And I really want to say I, I thank you guys so freaking much for all the support you guys have been giving me personally. But I am very, very, very disappointed in a lot of you guys, how you guys are dealing with Natalie, you know? And mind you, you're entitled to have your own opinion. But it's like, damn, like, I never thought y'all could be so ruthless. And not every No, y'all over there talking shit about Nat Nat? Oh, I can't call her Nat. Uh, Natalie? Y'all, listen. People go through their stuff. I'm not gonna cap. When I went through my whole, I'm so glad I went through my shit. Jadea, thank you for what you did. <laughs> I'm so happy I went through that because you really figure out who really fuck with you. You know, and, and, and some people just switch sides. You know, and it's, it, I don't see how you just switch sides when you was with both of us. You was with both of us. So you should find some type of understanding between her and me or them two. I never said anything bad about Natalie. I don't have anything bad to say. You want to know why? Easy love her, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So if you support Easy, then you got to support Natalie still. She loves her. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, it's just she could have took it a little more easier and Natalie was just kind of mean with it i was just like oh damn i just felt like she was hurting her feelings but just because she may be hurting her feelings doesn't mean y'all you know what i'm saying you ain't gotta go crazy but not, not not all of you that are watching this video are ruthless but a lot of you guys have been giving natalie so much backlash and it's like bruh like Y'all support her, y'all say y'all support her here in the moment that she does something that y'all probably don't agree with. It's like, we, we not gonna support you, Natalie, because you did something we didn't agree with, so we're not gonna support you, we're gonna bash you. And that's something I just, I can't tolerate, you know, and I, I, don't, I don't appreciate that. You know, she's not only human, but she's the love of my life. And as the love of my life, I can't sit back and just watch it all happen, y'all. I freaking love this woman and I want it to work so bad. It says like she doesn't want this to work and she wants to be completely just done with me. Just don't bash her, bruh. She's an amazing woman. Y'all supported her all this way, but the moment it's thing. something that y'all don't agree with, I didn't tell y'all to go bash this woman. Not one time. Regardless of what I tweeted, regardless of what was said about me being hurt, come on, y'all. Y'all gotta do better. We gotta do better, Nisa Yang. You know, we, we gotta do better as a damn race, you know what I'm saying? Um, we so quick to sign ourselves off that's that's the bad part and i never said anything bad about natalie but you, you you're not supposed to you know what i'm saying people go through their stuff but that don't mean choose sides you know people just so quick to just choose a side i i just could not believe i couldn't believe it i couldn't believe it when me and jadeel was going through was going through girl they just started flopping Oh, nigga, I can't fuck with you no more because I, 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 and you continue to fuck with her. Cool. But don't come back over here. And then after we got back cool, like, oh, nigga, can I come back now? No! Stay your ass where you was at. <laughs> we was talking about that this morning. Because <laughs> some of the people that support me, you know, switched up on her. And it's just like, she's like, tell your people to stay where they at. You tell them to stay. Tell your people to stay where they at, baby. Don't flip. Just because, you know, we going through something. That's crazy, but... Yeah, do way better, please. So, what I'm, I'm going to sit here and do is just ask you guys, if you've said anything negative, go apologize to her. Or if you're not big enough or bold enough to do that, just send positive energy her way, you know? And to mention the tweet that I said about her sister, regardless, I want this to work between me and Natalie. And I cannot make this work and continue to move forward, regardless of how I felt during the moment I tweeted the stuff I tweeted about her family. Moving forward, I want this. I want to be with her. So that's not going to happen if I continue to just post stuff when I'm feeling a certain way. I just want to know why the family, why they so involved in the first place. I, that's the part I don't understand. Like, why are they so involved? This y'all relationship, you know what I'm saying? I don't understand that part. But 
Yeah. That's me backtracking. You know what I'm saying? So I want this to work and I want it to work and it can't work if I'm clashing or clashing, you know what I'm saying, with the family. It can't work. Oh, because it's just like that is what is has torn Natalie apart. I need y'all to understand, like going over there and bashing them. They still got their girlfriends and their wives and stuff. Girl, that's what I would have did. Looked around like y'all still together. And I ain't with my bitch. No, I'm about to go back to my bed. That ain't gonna that ain't gonna make it better for me. How that gonna make it easier for me? Huh? How is that gonna that just making it seem like yeah, we got easy back at y'all. We gonna bash y'all. You know what I'm saying? It's like nah, that ain't gonna help my situation at all. Y'all seen the last thing I said, I'm trying to fight for Natalie. Stop, just stop. It ain't gonna help the situation. It ain't. Like I said, I don't know what's gonna happen between me and Natalie, but what I do know is that she texts me. And, you know, she did text me, said she wanted to talk to me. I don't know if it's something good or bad, but regardless, just to hear her voice is freaking incredible. I am a little nervous, so bear with me. Um, so let's get into this video. If you're new, hit that subscribe button, y'all. Hit that subscribe button. Okay, so I just texted Natalie right now, and, you know, I asked her, can I actually FaceTime her? And she said, yeah. So I'm nervous now. I didn't think that, you know. I don't, I don't know what I thought, but we'll see how this conversation goes. Yes, that picture in the back. Let's make it big screen. Come on, Nana, answer. Girl, she fine. Shit. She's so fine. And <laughs> you did such a good job. Okay, that's what I'm waiting on. Somebody says they want to talk. Like, with reactions, things can get so awkward. Because I want y'all like, yo, why you not saying nothing? Sometimes it just ain't nothing to say in certain moments. It's not nothing to say. You know what I'm saying, Parker? You know how that goes. It's not really, you know, too good and stuff, so. Well, I just have a few points that I want to, like, make um, clear the air. Make sure that um, you understand certain things, you know? Mm -hmm. um, what nerves? First and foremost, I just want to say that um, I love you. Um, me too. I know. Um, I know. I know that um, you know that I love you and stuff, but I just wanted to say it. You know where you can see my face. Um. It's just been really hard. Been really, it's been really. I don't like to see you emotional. What's, what, talk to me. The amount of people um, saying that I don't love you and uh, making these assumptions and stuff about a relationship that has meant so much to me for the past three years something i learned when you go through this type shit whether it's on this magnitude or a couple people you know what i'm saying um you know how you really feel about a person mentally when you're going through certain shit certain shit just break you down you know what i'm saying that's just let's just be real certain shit just break you down you know what i'm saying and i feel like she's at a, a place where she's kind of broken down um, which is, it's gonna happen. It happens to all of us. It might happen again, you know what I'm saying? 
But things look so worse in that moment. They look so worse in that moment. But uh, it always comes back, you know, the right way. It always comes into fruition. It's always a light at the end of the tunnel. You gotta go through it though. One thing you can't do is skip the struggle. You know what I'm saying? And even to fall in love with somebody, especially when your 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 relationship is all over the internet. And I, my next relationship, I probably won't put on the internet, bro. I, I might just show her hands and let y'all hear her voice and shit like that. Cause I, I ain't got time. Not. I ain't got time. For real. Don't get emotional. People just break your stuff up. I gotta stop cussing. That I freaking know how much you love me. Don't cry. Okay, you see how she said don't freaking? Don't cry. Please don't cry. Listen to me. Hear me. Oh, that baby. You're so pretty. And I both know how much you freaking love me. You put so much love into this. And what they're just jumping to conclusions. You know what I'm saying? And like, I know you love me, especially over this three years. You show me more love than any girl ever has. Okay? So you don't got to tell me you love me based off of them jumping to conclusions. They don't know half of the love that you put into this. Okay? Okay. Here. You don't gotta tell me that. I know. I know. It's just, um, it's tough, you know, being um, accused of things and attacked by people who don't know you and don't know half of the stuff that happens behind the scenes. They don't, they literally see not even 1% of our lives. Like, for There's real. There's how many hours in a day and they get to only see us for 10 maybe minutes. 30 minutes a week. You know? Yeah. And it's just, so unfair. I don't care about anything they're saying. Like I said, people jump to conclusions and don't know nothing. All right? You do not have to justify your love for me. No. Period. Like, I know no. how much you love me. You show so much. Okay? All right? Um, I also wanted to be coming to Miami and my reasonings for it and stuff. I know we talked about this already, but like I said, just people attacking and assuming and judging and stuff is just making me want to talk to you about it. That... Let me just get it out. <sighs> Easy be ready to say some shit. That is me. I've tried to, to just... I've gotten better with um, listening over talking. You know what I'm saying? Just shut up, you know? When you shut up, you hear the message. You know what I'm saying? You know, we got to understand that we don't know everything. You know what I'm saying? As people you you don't know everything and and sometimes you try to assume how people feel and shit like that i need to stop cussing and stuff like that you know what i'm saying so it's just like you know um sometimes i just find it funny how you know easy be like hi right, i'm gonna let her talk you know what i'm saying um she just she loves us it's a lot of passion there me coming to miami has been a hundred percent for my mental health it hasn't been me she being done it. with you completely or being like, yo, I'm out, like, being done with the ex. And I don't know why people are jumping to those conclusions because I never said that mm -hmm. to anybody. It has been 100% for, like, my mental health, you know? I needed to be with my mom so she can help me deal with the emotions that I was feeling um, from stuff that has happened over the past few years, you know what I mean? And... Oh, look, Natalie, I know it's not just, I just told you, and I, it, I'm not frustrated with you, I'm just frustrated that, I know it's not because of a tweet, I know that it's so much deeper than that, and people jump into conclusions, and then that's hurting you, that shit hurts me, and I don't, I hate to see you hurt, like, I hate it, bro, I know you had to make the decision for your mental health, and everything that you was going through personally, don't let these stupid comments, make you feel like, you know, even worse about what's going on with your sanity and your mental health, you know? I know. Um, and since I just want you to know, like, since I've been here in Miami, you know, my mom has been, like, helping me a lot, like, helping me learn how to and deal with things. You know, this time apart is just... Needed. Really just show me how much I love you and how much yeah. I care about you. I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> I'm really happy to hear that. You so know, your sanity and how you feel means so much to me. And the fact that I can even just think that some of these people said that they support us, but then like turn their back on you and you literally, man, it's just it's heartbreaking. And I'm, I'm just, I just want to say I'm sorry. You know, I know this has affected you so much. I support you, and I'm glad that you're taking this time for you because that's what you need. And don't let anybody make you feel like what you did was wrong because the reaction that you're getting 
You know what I'm saying? I yeah. Said, I said, I said, Your mental health is more important than anything, than anybody. And that's something that uh, I had to learn too. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to say thank you, Jadea, again. Thank you. You know, we went through our stuff, you know what I'm saying? But that's my, that's my nigga now. You know what I'm saying? Um, but we had to go through it. You, you cannot skip it. You can't run away from it. You know, but it's needed. And I know that may sound crazy, but it's needed. Sometimes somebody need to snap your ass back into reality. You get what I'm saying? Um, sometimes it's your friend. Sometimes it's your girl. And sometimes you ain't ready to be snapped back in. So something drastic happens. You know what I'm saying? Then you get the picture. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just happy. I'm happy I went through it how I went through it. I'm not going to cap it. It saved my life. What's been really hard is just, I don't, it's not even just that, you know what I'm saying? Like, the whole point of this call, the reason why I said I wanted to talk to you is just to make sure that you know what's up, you know what I mean? And that you are not in the mindset that anything that they're saying is true at all about me, about my family. Like, it's just crazy how people can judge a whole, the whole picture when they only have one puzzle piece of it. We also gotta know too that we putting our business out there, we gotta have the mindset of, all right, we putting it out there, there's gonna be those people that hide behind screens that just try to bash us and stuff like that. But well, you yeah. have to know and you have to keep that in your mind. If you wanna put that out, that's gonna happen. But we can't allow that to affect us. No, it's, it's, it's the narrative that is created too. And you don't know the narrative you're creating until it's created, until it's done. You know, and people gonna take, People are gonna have their own feelings about what happened. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna have their own feelings already. But um, yeah, we create our own narratives and then people just kind of run with it. They just, they run with it. <laughs> I can tell that that has, has affected you, you know, based off of this conversation. You know that I love you and I know what's real. If we're gonna put it out there, we gotta we gotta know what's gonna come in return. I guess it's just hard, yeah, because I haven't ever been so vulnerable um publicly before, so I didn't really know the extent that people are yeah. willing to go to tear you down. You know what I'm saying? I'm so sorry that you have to feel this. You know, I care about you, I love you, you know, and you know, love But yeah, overall, um I just really wanted to talk real quick. To let you know like where my mind's at and that you know i do i love you and i care about you and i just want to tell you that face to face i know i've been telling you that but yeah well i appreciate how that sweet. And, you know the fact that how so bad ever bad ever sweet and, you know seeing how i'm doing and stuff like that like it really means a lot um you know and i just kind of you know even though you call me i kind of you know, do want to know, like, where do we stand? Like, are we going to, you know, move forward? Do you want to be with me? Are you still in love with me? Kind of want to, you know, yeah, know totally you like that, huh? you feel now, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, I, I don't, I don't really know, like, where things are going to go. Um, but to answer your question, yes, I'm, I'm still in love with you. That's so cute. So, <laughs> yes. I mean, that's a step, okay? Well, easy. Let me, let me, I'll let you real fast. Don't, don't, don't fuck this up anymore. Stop cussing. Don't mess this up again. Give me a hot that. That's all I need to hear. Okay. No, I'm so in love with you too. I'm so in love with you. And you know that. I guess. Uh, yeah. Just figure it out. Okay. <laughs> I'll talk to you, I guess. Later. <laughs> and that's crazy. She she got that camera right there enough to where it didn't show the numbers in the phone. This girl is good. Between her and Pretty Boy Fredo, 
they know how to paint a picture and I'm working on it y'all I'm working I'm practicing vlogging so just give me a second but um by the end I ain't gonna say the end of this shit that's too far in the next 30 days I will know how to vlog the right way okay period um but anyway you know y'all it's just it's just love in the air, man. It's freaking love. It's just freaking love in the freaking air. Now, um, I love them though, and I pray that everything can work out in their favor. You know what I'm saying? I really do. And um, I'm sure it will. I'm sure it will. Um, you know, they don't take each other for granted. Plus they would have a lot to lose, you know, and that ain't worth it. That ain't never worth it. So I'm sure they figure it out. And um, we just gonna stay tuned, y'all. For more videos like this, please give this video a thumbs up. We on to the next video.